resumed. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Nova War. And Maximus Black. And we're bringing you yet another normal ass, normal game sent in by the fans to http slash slash www.lag.tv. L-A-G.tv. Mr. Maximus Black. Yep. Hit me up with an old school noise. <laughs> Lovely. Just lovely. Up here in the top right hand position, Cloud Kingdom, we're looking at Vatalega. We're going to call him Vat. Down here cool. in the bottom left hand position, we're looking at the Blue Protoss, J.M. Avluth. Mm, I'm going to call him Jim, because that's what came to my mind when I saw the name. Vat and Jim. All right, I'm about to call him Vegeta Ooh. and Jim, or Jimmy. Vegeta being red. I'm a call, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm going to call him bitch if I want to. I don't really care. Both, <laughs> these, both these names are freaking brutal. Uh, but anyway, in, in any case, uh, this is still a Wings of Liberty stuff. I have some hot stuff coming on the way uh, this yes. week. If, I, if it hasn't already been posted, you will see it. The hots games that we have this week are the Inbox to, uh, to Icebox series. Yep. Uh, as time goes on, you guys send us in more and more of the hot stuff. We will be adding more and more to the uh, casting list for each week until eventually we are 110% hot. Wow, this one probe here doing a lot of uh, a lot of harassing. Already getting rid of one SCV, and it looks oh he's managed to get out of oh, there. Sour. So uh, that probe's doing its doing its job. I mean, killed one SCV and forced two others off the line. And he's so. going to get home safely. So he has accomplished everything. Yep. That he ever needed to in life. Mm -hmm. He can now retire. He can go home and tell his to his uh, children just how well he did. It seems like uh, Vegeta is also getting a little bit of scouting information done here. He is going to notice that uh, it is pretty much uh, nothing out of the ordinary aside from the fact that he's not seeing any gas. So he must then, if he already hasn't seen it, he will now. That Nexus is down, so he knows what's going on. Uh, yeah, big big props to that probe uh, slowing down the, uh, the Terran player ever so much. Uh, that, you know what? That is an unappreciated skill. Yeah, no, it's uh, being it's able to, to use that 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 scouting worker in the beginning uh, to slow that uh, to slow that production down right off the bat is is pretty big, uh, especially the higher up in the ranks you go. Every little edge you get is a good edge, and since this is diamond, not a half bad thing to do. Looks like he's got both of his SCVs going home now. Going to go back to work and going to drop that barracks just about to finish up. As he collects some gas, Protoss player. Looking like he's grabbing that gateway and that cyber. He's got the two up. He's got a bob on the way. And we are settling in for what seems to be probably a slight mid-game showdown. Yeah, uh, Jim went for a Nexus first and mm -hmm. then dropped his gate. Um, grab the gas after that. Uh, I, I don't know I don't know what Vegeta is planning on doing here. I don't know if he's planning on sitting in the uh, Hyperbolics time chamber and, and trying to uh, up his skill before he goes out and actually fights, or if he's planning on just doing a little bit of uh, aggression right now. Um, I, 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 if I was him, I would have been trying to do s some kind of pressure when you've noticed that the, t or the, the toss is going Nexus first. I mean, usually you'll take an SCV down, build a bunker there at the natural, bring some, you know, start streaming in Marines, even drop maybe two extra racks and, and try and get rid of that. You know, you kill that and you've done some serious damage, then you can go ahead and get a command in your base and to move it down when, you, uh, when you've got, uh, you know, the, the, the opportunity to do so. But no, he's just going to let him sit on two base, which I do not agree with whatsoever. And look at the economy now, 32 probes to 22 SCVs, and that is mainly because... Two base versus one. Uh, you know, a lot of people go, well, Terran's got OP mules, but you'd be surprised how many probes you can get with two Nexus uh, and some Chrono Boost. Uh, shit gets real, real quick. Uh, mules can't even keep up, unfortunately. So, Terran's got to pull something out of his ass here. He is getting a Ghost Academy, so I don't know if he's trying some, like, one base nukage, but I'm not feeling it so far. No, uh, and as we, we watch here, I, I was going to say that uh, the same thing. I was wondering why he even had the two SCVs down there. He just wasn't prepping up those Marines. I mean, he was delayed a bit, but he wasn't prepping up Marines to uh, 
try and uh, and her do some harassment there on that Nexus. We see the Protoss player here, Mr. Jim, Jim Bob, Jimmy Jim, Jim Jimmy, throwing down a Stargate and a Robo along with his third gate. So uh, he's he's going both ways. Here we get a Void Ray uh, on the way. I'm not sure what he's planning to try and accomplish with that. As we see Vegeta now we're strolling out of his base with. Uh, what do we got here? One ghost, two ghosts, two ghosts on the way down. So now is the point in which he decides that he wants to go down here and do something. Uh, you know what? To be honest with you, uh, Jim isn't really all that ready for it. Um, uh, no. I, well, he's how many uh, gateways does he have here? He has three gateways in total. Uh, he's building an ops right now, which is I would I I'd be getting an immortal. Um, I think the Void Ray was a good choice just because when he poked up, he saw that there was a couple of Marauders. He didn't know exactly if, he, if the Terran was going heavy Marauders. But uh, he's, got, he's got enough gateways now. I think he'll be able to hold as long as he doesn't supply block himself. There you go. Another force field. He is buying a little bit of time. And you know what? Uh, Vegeta's army is really not looking that strong. Uh, the Saiyans are fucking crazy-ass strong. But I don't, I don't know if this is going to be enough. I think Freeze is just going to have to own him. Wow. I'm not sure what kind of, like... I'm not sure if that's a manor GG or a GG. You have a void ray or, or what that is. It Come looks on, he's like he's the Saiyan prince, man. He I, thinks he's OP. Well, he, he could very well be if he uses his units right here, but he's just deciding to run backwards, and that's not exactly going to help him very much. He needs to turn around and to do something with those ghosts, but he didn't get anything off. I don't know what he's trying to accomplish here. That an EMP is going to be necessary if this force is going to be able to fucking do anything at all. He gets one stalker kill out of that warp cycle there. And he is going to be able to possibly get rid of an assimilator. Uh, and he will actually do that as the probes are pulled off. But they're going to be stayed down here to try and give some backup support to the rest of the fighting units here of Jim. And Jim going to go oh. in. The meat shield of the probes going forward now. And I still... He got one... Did he get one EMP off yeah. anywhere yet? Yeah, he got one EMP... A good EMP off, but... Uh... He is going to keep streaming in. I don't know why uh, Jim isn't just fighting him straight up. Those two Void Rays alone will be able to just own everything. He just needs to focus on those Marines, and then he can back up the Stalkers and let the Void Rays pick off the rest of the Marauders. He is going to survive this attack, and uh, here comes a stream of units here from Vegeta, uh, and he is now forced to back off as well if he does not want to lose these one by one. Uh, I feel like Jim could have definitely defended that a little bit better. Uh, he missed a Warp Cycle too. Uh, in between. He was a little late, probably just because he was microing quite a bit. Uh, but, you know what? He survived. It could have been better, but it is what it is. And yes, that was a premature GG, and unfortunately it is still two base versus one. And uh, we are even here in probes to SEVs, but of course, you he's going to be able to build... He's going to be able to build... Uh, Man. Uh, probes. Wow. Much quicker. Oh, this guy. This guy has got... This guy put BM on his cereal in the morning. He spreads that shit on his toast. <laughs> he freaking flosses his teeth with that shit. Look at this! Wow, he is freaking angry! I don't know why, yeah, but he's just fucking pissed. Uh, and you know what? It's going to be glorious when we watch this Protoss absolutely face roll. And then I can't wait for the whining about uh, Protoss OP. Uh, it looks like uh, Jim is now running over and taking a quick look at uh, what his opponent has in store. And that is not a whole much. Uh, or not a whole lot, I should say. Uh, still on that one base, and like, like you were saying. And really, at this point... With a Protoss on the two base, it's only, to, it's only a matter of time before we see this Robo uh, facility start to actually pump out some really scary shit. Uh, yeah, and at he, that point, then it's yeah. GG. He needs to. It doesn't matter. Like, it, I mean, Terran on one base versus two base toss, Terran should lose every time. Yeah. Unless, unless they're doing some sort of all-in, right? But the, but the thing is Wait, what here... What the fuck is cuckolded? Vegeta can actually still win this game if... Uh, Jim doesn't get any uh, AoE. Like, he needs AoE. Bio balls are very scary things. And you can have a whole shit ton of units, but if you don't have uh, sufficient uh, AoE to, to, to do damage at a big scale, uh, you're going to lose against Terran. But there is a bunch of Void Rays up in the base, tearing apart everything. Uh, so this is going to be it. This is going to be the, the, the final showdown right here. This is yeah, it. no, absolutely. Now, in Vegeta's favor, he did get rid of that rock last time, so he actually has pretty much free reign to come up here. The sentries are enough to do it, but they're not in position to stop him. The units will get up into the base here, and this will be definitely another case where he's going to need some decent EMPs, uh, especially if he's going to walk up the ramp uh, in, in that choke there. Dude, he's how gonna sick. Melt this Nexus. Oh, free immortals going down there. It gets instantly oh, melted. Oh, no, no. Now, he has enough force fields here to force field this forever. 
So the and there is no medevacs. He can't get up here. He can't even scan anymore because he doesn't have a command center. So the only way that Vegeta can win this is if somehow he can manage to get a ghost vision for just a point two second and shoot an EMP at all those sentries. That is the only way that he can win this game because those force fields are going to last forever and those void rays are going to eat up everything that at his end of the base. Uh, I don't know. It's not looking good here for Vegeta. Well, in his mind, Vegeta says, fuck it, I'm just going to build this command center here and, and just build a base outside of yours. If you're going to be a dick and get rid of mine with all your void rays, I'm just going to put this down here and say, you can't kill this bitch. You know what? It doesn't make much, uh, much difference right now as Jim is going to be able to, like you said, infinitely uh, block that ramp. And it's not like Vegeta is anywhere near the, uh, the ability to be able to build a single medevac, let alone several, enough to bring up this force uh, onto the, uh, the uh, high ground of Jim's base. So at this point, it's just a bit of a standstill. We're just waiting to see what happens. The BM continues to flow out of Vegeta's mouth like shit. Like Vegeta? Uh, yeah, Vegeta. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, exactly. He's, He's very much so, uh, very much so BM. The most BM of all Dragon Ball Z characters. Command Center is going to finish up all the Void Warriors, finish up the top now. He is going to try and save a single solitary barracks because everything counts. For I Vegeta think we're going to see Vegeta die here with all of his units. Oh, he's using the Command Center for vision. Okay. Now, the question is can he get that EMP off on these sentries? Well, he has to actually move his units forward first because he's yeah. being a bit of a fucking doorknob right now and not actually moving. There it is. There's the ghost. The EMPs land, but oh, there's still oh, one sentry shit. left with full energy, and that is still oh. going to be enough for, to buy himself enough time. That was nice. Oh, but there is a fucking gap there. There's a gap the in it. Ramp. Oh, man, this is going to be so close. Vegeta, the Saiyan Prince, is trying to come in here and destroy planet Earth. But will Goku let him do it? That's the question. There's a stem. He needs to shoot off another EMP. The ghost in the back with full energy. And he is going to melt through everything. This is going all the way bad for Jim. Oh, Colossus shit, a fucking out. Colossus. Oh, but the Colossus is going to get no. melted quick. Oh, but look at how much wow. freaking health is left on these units. We have three Void Rays on the way. Uh, he needs a miracle, but he could actually somehow pull this shit off. I'll be fucking impressed. Vegeta with an epic maneuver there with that command center, and I actually thought that he was going to shit the bed there. He was spending so much time watching his uh, barracks die due to those void rays. Uh, as the void rays actually come back here now, getting rid of a couple of SCVs, and here we go. This is this oh, is the he, show. He just stands he needs that. To, he needs to watch these stems, man. That's that's what I'm saying. They're all dead, pretty much. These void oh. rays are going to get shredded. Oh, okay. Now this is. This is going to be quite a standoff at this point. He needs to be careful. He's got now, one probe outside the base and enough for a nexus. Adam, the thing is, if he doesn't kill those pylons to get rid of the, the energy on those gateways, uh, he's going to be able to continue to build units. And those, there you go. Now he's getting rid of those pylons. There I is saw a warp, warp in. out. Yeah, there's a warp in of two zealots, and he's going to run those zealots. Is he going to stim to go after them? No, he doesn't force a stim, which is very good for him. And that was 200 minerals that he really needed. I'm now not building sure a why nexus he over here. Yeah, I'm not sure why he didn't warp into the pylon that he just placed up here as a safety net. Instead, just warping those zealots in. He really needed those zealots, but those void yeah. rays would have been GG no re. Yeah, uh, and he, at this point, this Terran is just go. going to be taking Finally, everything out here. Building another void ray. Uh, that is, that's good. Uh, he needs to keep up with these void rays. I mean, he shouldn't have been... He shouldn't have stopped building units that whole time. No. Those units are freakishly getting low. I mean, any more stims and the void oh. rays that he has. Oh. Well, it looks like Vegeta might just... Oh, and that BM oh, just man. continues. Idiot, so dumb. Oh, imagine, the, imagine the suffering that Jim is going to go through if he loses this game. Imagine the mental fucking distress that this man is going to experience. I've got a if feeling he loses though, this game. I've got a feeling that he's gonna manage to survive this. He's got a couple of gateways up top, that Nexus is done. He doesn't have any probes mining though, but that one void ray is coming in. If that void ray can come over here and get that command center to the point of burning, that oh, would shit. be GG, man. Oh shit! Is it gonna burn? Is it gonna oh, it's burn? Oh shit, it's burning! It's burning! Run! Run! Oh, he sacrifices oh, his life! That Void Ray sacrificing, making the ultimate sacrifice for ire, and now the Command Center is burning the Void Ray up at uh, Vegeta's old planet, and it is being destroyed right now. There is nothing left on the field. There is only one SCV. He's got 36 minerals. That Command Center is burning at 350 health remaining, and there is just structures all over the map for Jim.
Adam, we're gonna see him. We're gonna see him win this shit, dude. And I couldn't be freaking happier right now. This Vegeta guy is the worst kind of Sandy Vagina. Like, on a scale of one to Sandy Vagina, we're talking about you just went to Venice Beach, where all the bodybuilders are, and you got lathered up with that freaking oil that they use to go on stage and flex and, and look kind of weird, to be completely honest with you. And you're out on the beach, and suddenly birds start attacking your backpack because you brought one too many snacks with you and they're getting all over and you, you have to you're scared so you run around you, you try and dive for it but you can't get there in time and instead now you are covered in sand and because you are a woman and not a man even if you are a man for the purpose of the story you are a woman you are covered in that oil and the sand sticks to you and suddenly you can't get away from it and you run to the water to try and save yourself but the wave comes and the wave stirs up more sand and it crams itself up and that is the kind of sandy vagina that Vegeta is. Wow. And I'm sure that is going to get even worse now that he's lost that game after all that BM. And I just want to give a slow clap. Wow. I want to give a slow clap to Jim for sacrificing that Void Ray. I want to give a slow clap for that Void Ray. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for, for giving that shit. That was epic. Uh, he did he did manage to get rid of that nexus, but unfortunately, just too many structures around the map. Uh, and but that was actually closer than I expected that to be. Uh, and good on that void ray. Look at that twenty one kill void ray. Void ray is everywhere, just winning life for Jim and uh, all around. I'm gonna say good game for Jim, and I'm gonna tell Vegeta to uh, to probably just. Uh, I don't want to say anything too harsh, but uh, just fuck you. I don't know, do you got anything else? No, no. no? You, su you summed it up. Just, just fuck, fuck I players. Love, I love Vegeta, though. I love Vegeta. I, well, I love, I love, I love. Yes, it's true. Vegeta. But not this favorite. specific Vegeta. Yeah. This, this guy's just an asshole. Well, this guy is like the the no name Vegeta. He, he's he's Vatalija. He's the cheap brand that you get at the supermarket. He's the Italian Vegeta, and I love Italian food, but uh, no problemo. Wasn't that your Mexican the other day? I have no idea. It's all the same to me. It's all the same. <laughs> wait, that's racist. Yeah. Yep. That's racist. All right, wait, ladies and gentlemen, please hit that like uh, and favorite button if you really enjoyed this. Hey, I did. That was a good game, dude. Uh, that was excellent. That was, uh, you know what? Vegeta, as big of an asshole as he is, he ended up getting fucked in the end, if you know what I'm saying. But he almost pulled it out of his ass uh, there with that epic command center, uh, getting the vision and dropping that epic EMP. I don't think I can get any more punny than stringing those five things together right in a row. So I'm going to wrap it up there. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, we will see you guys soon. P Peace.